Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Guard up on defense here, back in our video today. In this video, we're going to my first NBA 2K23 point guard build. And this build is really close to the meta of this game. I feel like 6-7, 6-8, 6-9 is probably going to be the most commonly made point guard build. So, unless you're playing Prime, of course. Maybe Rec, because those smaller point guards are really nice. But mine is actually a small PG. And it's so unique and different that I feel like almost no small point guards are going to play like mine. And I don't think you're going to find a build like this anywhere else. But yeah, before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, that sub button there on the road to 1.2 thousand subscribers. Be sure to like and comment down below. And leave some video ideas down there as well so I can try to make some builds to you guys, whatever you want to see. But yeah, I've been messing with the builder for a while and this is the build I came upon. And I think this build is both hilarious and fun to use. So you're going to have some options with this one in terms of the attributes, but you're going to want to go 6-1. 215 pounds and 6'10 wingspan, so basically Donovan Mitchell's body type with a lot of extra weight. Probably not a lot, but you look at his body build. Like, look at his build right now. Wait, just look at this. <laughs> look at this monster, this walking tank. We got the built body shape, of course. If you guys want to change it, I guess, but I think the whole point is to make your player model as big as possible and take up as much space since you're already 6'1. So I would highly suggest going with built, but if you really care about your, how your player looks, I guess you could do that. But yeah, you can just see he's an absolute unit. And you're just going to see how well-rounded this build is. It's honestly insane how good the six ones are this year. Which is honestly how it should be. Because there's a whole advantage to being a taller player. So first things first. Make sure you go to 78 close shot. I would say minimum 78. Because you're going to want to get fast switch. And that way you just get to another badge. Now this is one of the things you can change if you want an 87. You can do that, or you can just go right to 85 for gold, but I think Sofer's fine for how I'm going to play. But if you want to change that, by all means, you can. Driving layup. This one I went with an 85, and reason being, it's kind of just a nice area to have it, and it's rated right a badge cutoff, so why not? Driving dunk, 86, and if you know anything about 86 driving dunk, you get limitless takeoff, and you just unlocked posterizer 85, so that means... You're also going to be able to get small contact dunks. And if you know anything about small contacts, they look pretty nasty. And being able to do that is <laughs> going to be fun on a 6-1. And now another thing, standing dunk, right? You see a 40, you actually are able to get two hand standing dunks on a 6-1 player. So as you're building up your slash or takeover 2, you're going to get all the animations unlocked. But even at a 40, if you go to the store to buy that standing dunks, it only, requ only requires a 40. And you're going to be able to buy those, which is great. You should be able to do them at all times. But even if you don't buy those and you don't have the standing dunk, you mean you won't, you won't be able to do it without the standing dunk, but if you have a 40, even if you didn't use the animation in the store, you'd still be able to get them because your rating's so high. Like once you build up takeover a little bit, you'll pass the threshold and be able to do them probably. But I would just buy the animations yourself and make sure you have them on at all times because those standing dunks are gonna help you out. And it just looks funny watching a 6-1 rise up like that. And the post control is actually max. Now you may be wondering why I'm doing this uh, because you get a lot of points, one thing, but being able to post up and post spin as a 6-1 guard is one of the most fun things you're going to do in this game. And you can actually back people down. You'll see with the strength when you get down there. That's the whole reason I maxed out the weight because the speed's not going to be maxed out or anything. But it's still going to be good. Don't worry about that. I'm just saying the post, you're going to be able to drop step, do all those sorts of things on... I wouldn't say mismatches because you're going to be probably the shorter player most of the time, but you, you should be able to bully people, especially with this post hook too. You can have this post hook and use that. And now the three point is going to be 86, kind of right in between wasting a lot of points and having enough three ball to be able to shoot very consistent consistently in this game. You're going to be just fine with 86. Don't even worry about it. I don't think you really need those gold badges in tier three. I personally don't think it's that necessary. I mean, of course, if you're playing pro-am, yes, you might probably want those. But I play Rec a lot more than Pro-Am, so I think it'll be okay. And it was just a lot, lot of fun to have a well-rounded player. And then ball handle, you're going to rate to 90. Reason being, you unlock Dame's dribble sigs here. His behind the back is great. You get that one, you get a size of escape. And whatever else comes out, the only ones you won't be able to get the 92, which I don't really like those anyways, like Curry and Trey Young. I don't really use those. So if you really want them, you can change it, but I don't need those. And speed with ball is going to be 86. Pass accuracy is going to be... 85. I was messing around with uh, 88 just to get the extra point, but that takes a lot of your attributes. So I think 85 is fine. And if you did watch 2K Labs video, 86 to 90 is about gold. This is just right under their gold threshold, so it should be perfectly fine. In a 5v5 setting, 90, 90 up and just 
probably better, but you're still going to be just fine with an 85. I wouldn't be too worried about that at all. 85 is still basically gold bullet from last year. And then the interior is going to go to 60. The perimeter is going to go to 86. Now, there's something you can do with the steel and perimeter. You can go to 88 and go to 85 here. But then you lose out on your small contacts, so that's one thing to keep in mind. But instead of doing that, you could also put this at 86 and go to 82. And now you'll be able to have enough vertical to be able to get those. Because you need 85 vertical, which is quite a lot. But if you really want those contact dunks, you're going to have to get them by lowering your defense a little bit. And the blocks can go to 54 at first. And the rebounding, you might think, oh, this 6 one's not going to have rebound. And that's where you'd be wrong. The rebound is maxed out. And this 6 one point guard is going to snag over your taller player. It's going to be really fun. And the speed I went to 85. You're gonna get. I heard you get plus four in this game for your physicals, which is great if you do. And my absolute favorite part of this build is right here: the 88 strength. And if you put gold back down on, you are going to mash taller players and really make their life miserable, which is so funny. And if the plus four is in the game, you're gonna have 92 strength. And I can just imagine a center with 70 strength trying to back you down. You're just pushing him back. That'd be so funny to watch. I can't wait to do that on this player. And the vertical, like I said, 85, and you're still going to have 90 stamina. And this is where you can mess with things. You can go max block, max interior, and throw on free throw. Uh, there's a lot of things you can lower. You can lower your post control to 66 if you want to save some points and throw them somewhere else. There's really a lot of options. You can lower some things you don't need. Just right, right where the badge is cut off, like you can see. For the interior, that would be 60, and the block was at, I think it's 54 still. So, yeah, there's a lot of little things you can mess around with. I mean, you can also lower your strength if you really want to. But I think having it is just going to help you out a lot, especially since you're shorter. So I don't think you should personally lower it. Like, you could probably get a lot out of it, though. If you want to go 70 and just get, uh, what is it? Oh, you actually you already get it at gold, so it doesn't matter. So I was going to say box out beast, but you already get it at gold. But if you really wanted to do that, you could probably mess around and get something. But I think the strength doesn't actually cost that much for some reason on a point card. It doesn't really cost that much, so you can might as well just go to 88, man. I I promise you the 88 strength is worth it. You'll be able to actually bump people on defense with Clamp Silver, too. And having that higher strength, unless they have 99 for some reason, you should be absolutely fine guarding anyone. As long as you know how to use your really good lateral quickness to be able to stay in front of them. And with this interior, you might be able to get some fake stops. I know it's not crazy high, but you should be able to get some contests in the paint. <laughs> Excuse me, chat. <clears throat> All right, sorry about that, but yeah. The 60, you might get some, I suppose if they're shorter, you're going to get some interior paint stops. And I think it's, why not just have it on instead of a 25, man? You might get some stops in there. I know you're short, but it's still useful. I mean, especially even for challenges like in my career, or whatever you might be doing, it can still help you out in those as well. So how I personally made the build at the first time was I had the 88 perimeter and the steel, but I honestly think that this 85 vertical build is probably better just because getting those contexts is... I mean, you're already not going to play amazing defense. You're 6'1", so I think just trying to get as much offense as you can out of the build is probably going to help you out more. And getting you unlock two extra small dunk packages, so I think that's worth it, just in my opinion. But yeah, I would go with the max post, max block, or max block, yeah, and max interior. That's what I would do. And this is what I got for you. This is my build, how I would make it. There's really nowhere else you can put this. I mean, you could put stamina if you're really worried about it. Like you can put 94 if you really want to, but I don't think it's really that ne necessary. But hey, if you want to do it like that, you can. And yeah, this is pretty much my build. You got 24, 21, 26, 24. So a ton of badges for this game. What would that be? That's like 50, 71. It's like 95, is that? I think somewhere in there. Maybe it's 100. I don't know. I don't want to do the math right now. But yeah, you got the Sharp, Slasher, Playmaker, and Lock, which are my favorite takeovers. I think Shock is fun too, but you don't really need it. I would, I'm would. i going to go with Double Finishing, because once you get the Juice Perk, plus 21, if you have the same takeover, so plus 21 Speed, plus 21 Dunk, Layup, Ball Handle, Speed with Ball, all those things, you're going to be at 99 for all those categories, which is ridiculous. So I would highly suggest going with this. And you can see my build name. It's about to show up. And... The comparisons make no sense. This build is so unique that they really can't compare you to any NBA point guard ever. So uh, this is a one of one point guard build, inside out shot creator. I know the name isn't the greatest. Like I think I had two way inside out creator when I was making with the defensive one. But if you guys want to be a dominant 
dunking 6-1, I would just go with the small contacts as well. Because you're going to get pro, both pro and then both small. So you'll be able to get some crazy animation if you're going for clips or whatever. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys want to help with the badges, let me know down below in the comments and I'll be sure to help you out with the badges. I know the systems might be confusing for you guys, but I've got it figured out pretty easily now. But yeah, like I said, hope you guys did enjoy. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.